What's up? What's good? What's good? What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Isis Love, tuning in live direct in this sunny, 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 beautiful, beautiful day here, you guys. What's today? Wednesday? Yes, let's get it. I tell you, when every day is a weekend, the days just seem to merge because we all know at the end of the day, you know, time is a illusion. So I am so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining in on this call today. I'm about to give it to you. I'm about to cook it up and give you the secret sauce to uh, building generational wealth. And um, before we start this, before we start this video, you guys, I just want to know if you could just do me a favor. Simply, you know, just go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and share, you know, this video with your community because we want the word to get out to everyone, right? We want everybody to go ahead and take these tips to being able to build, you know, generational wealth um, because it's something that I am working on right now. So um, if you're watching this live, let me know. Hey, comment. Let's make this interacting. Like if you're if you're if you're here live, let me know where you from. Uh, let me know you're commenting live. You know, if you're watching this on the replay, let me know that you're here. So we're going to go ahead and get started, community. So, you know, I wanted to speak about something that I always speak about because I got to make sure that y'all really know this, right? So um, so we're speaking about, you know, generational wealth, right? Generational wealth. Um, And so it doesn't always have to come into the... Uh, it doesn't always have to be come in a form of money, right? Like your mind, the what you, how you train your mind today, and what you do, you know, today for your mind, it's going to carry on to generations, to generations, to generations that outpass you, right? But what happens is whatever you do in this now moment is not even is not just helping you in this now moment is also helping your kids, your kids' kids, your cousins, your uncles, your brothers. You're literally setting yourself up in this now moment for things to trickle down. And it even gets deeper than that, you know, if you believe in life after death, like I personally believe, you know, when you leave this, you know, 3D plane that you come back. And so you want to set yourself up so when you come back, you already coming back into your millionaire status. Are you already coming back to your, your, your healthy mind? Because you guys, we've been programmed from generation to generation to generation of the same lack and the same, um, you know, uh, low self-esteem and not really knowing our true, our true power, right? Because we were only taught what our parents was taught. They were only taught what their parents taught them and so on and so forth. And so the hamster wheel just keeps turning, you know what I'm saying? It keeps happening over and over. So it's up to us in this now moment. Like there's no coincidence that you're on this live video right now. There's no coincidence that you have tuned in live to check out this new feed. So what you got to do in your now moment since you have got this message that I'm speaking is start to clean up your mind mind because i just made a post like you are already free freedom is a mindset right it's all about the mind if you feel like you're not free it's because you're not freeing your mind no piece of paper or no person or no jurisdiction outside of you is going to grant you permission for freedom that's up to you you have to know that you're already free you have to know that you're already abundant Right. Because before you can manifest anything on this physical realm, it has to be manifest within. Right. You have to get that mind right. You have to get the inner the inner game. Right. Right. So the moment you can get your inner game and get your mind right, the way you view, you know, money or the way you view um, your power. It's very, very, very important because you're going to be teaching your children the same exact thing. Right. You're going to be teaching your kids the same as the exact thing. So you want to already be teaching your kids about their power and who they are, right? And the abundance that they are worthy of, right? So doing these type of things is already helping you accumulate generational wealth. Why? 
because you're already building the mindset of yourself, which you're going to trickle down and teach to your offspring, which they're going to trickle down and teach to theirs. So before you know it, you know, the mindset of your lineage has changed because of you. Because of you, because of you taking the necessary steps, right? And so, you know, even financially, you guys, if you could just take $10, if you could just start small and take $10 every month, I'm starting the smallest of the small. If you could put $10 a month aside into a investment vehicle what is an investment an investment is basically securing your future you don't know what the future is going to hold the only thing you know about is this now moment because this is your now moment you can attest to but if you can just set yourself up in this now moment it's going to echo out because of momentum to your success in that future point if that makes sense so by taking as little as $10 a month and putting it aside to an investment vehicle, something that's going to grow you money, something that's going to have value, you are taking the necessary steps already to start acquiring generational wealth for yourself and for your family. You guys, you got to do this for your kids. Like, if you don't like your life right now and you have kids, that's why you have to do your damnness to start liking your life right now. Because everyone should love their life. No matter what your situation is, no matter if you don't have that brand new car, no matter if you don't like your job, right? You got to still love your life. Some people don't even have half of the things that you have that you're complaining about. So if we can be the solution to the problem instead of complaining about the problem then we automatically set our mind up for wealth right because wealth is a mindset generational wealth is a mindset you can say all day long that you're ready for freedom and you're ready for a change and you're getting tired of working nine to five but if your mind is not right then it's not even nothing else is going to really matter because you can have all the money in the world but if you don't know how to manage money it doesn't mean anything. And if you don't know how to make smart money investments with the money that you already have, then it's going to dwindle away. So the main point is parents, women, women, fathers, brothers and sisters, is to get yourself together today so that you can start acquiring generational wealth, you guys. It even goes to as far as, you know, starting to learn something. Let me tell you, you guys, I always tell people, like, you can watch me or you can join me. You can follow my journey or you can be a part of my journey, you guys. Because what I am doing right now is all the necessary steps to acquire generational wealth for this now moment and set myself up for when I come back around on this planet again, I'm already going to be coming into a life of good karma because I have paved the way for this now moment in this reality, right? You guys, so many different transformational things has has happened, you know, and I'm only speaking from personal experience. When you align yourself up with your generational wealth, when you align yourself up with your ancestors, your ancestors is the ones that walked before you, they're going to make sure that everything happens for you in divine alignment. Because once you tap into your ancestors and that flow and your generational wealth, and when it starts from the mindset on a physical level, Everything is going to come to you. The money you need, the people you need for the project, the people that's going to mentor you, the people that's going to brand you. All of these people are going to start coming into your life because you have aligned yourself with your purpose and you have aligned yourself to start accumulating generational wealth. You guys, I've been trading 
you know, working, doing my businesses and trading on the forest market ever since last year. And, you know, I have, you know, manifested a promotion. Um, I'm not able to teach my team a strategy that I have, um, you know, learned from one of our educators on our system. Um, you know, next, hey, 30, like in about 35 days, you guys, we're having a retirement party in Miami. And I was able to secure my spot on the yacht. You know, because I have been putting in work, right? So I am aligning myself with my goals. I'm aligning myself with my generational wealth. I see myself on that yacht before I was even on the yacht, you know? So the moment we can just stop and figure out how we want to start acquiring generational wealth, writing it down on a piece of paper. You can think things all day long, but there's something about writing it down on a piece of paper. It helps manifesting it. So there are some things you want to ask yourself, like what am I going to do to acquire generational wealth? What are some things that I can do? Because I already told you one of the things that you want to do before you start acquiring generational of wealth is work on your mindset because wealth is a mindset so in order for you to be able to receive money you have to learn how to stop repelling money and it goes all the way back to like healing you down to your ancestral line you guys we have been going through this quote-unquote money um crisis for a while now, it's because it's been passed down from generation to generation, from ancestor to ancestor, because our ancestors forgot who they were. They forgot our who, their power. So the moment that we can take you, because what I do is I take people through um, ancestral, uh, re, re, uh, re, uh, can't even talk right now. <laughs> regression where we um you know we break up those blockages that you may have in your uh, DNA ancestral line and then we also work on releasing trauma around money as far as you know in your childhood because we have money blocks all the way from our childhood so you guys when you can work on the mental side of things you're able that's the first step to acquiring generational wealth it's not about going out and doing stock and doing these different things before you even do that you got to get your mindset ready for this right literally i'm so freaking serious like i'm like heart attack serious right now like when you get your mind right and what i'm what do i mean by get your mind right when you start harnessing your power we give our power away too much to things outside of ourselves and we like to play victim instead of acknowledging the things that we have done. We like to blame it on the white people. We like to blame it on the devil. We like to blame it on Trump. We like to blame it on the weather. We like to blame it on we don't have enough time. We like to play the blame game, right? But not once do we take the time out and say, damn, it starts with me. The change starts with me. It always starts with you, right? It starts with you. So when I say get your mind together, when I say the moment you get your mind together, you're going to start acquiring generational wealth. I mean, it's the moment you start thinking better. It's the moment that you start knowing your power. It's the moment that you know that it's your birthright to be free. How can some man, woman, or anybody tell you that you are free or you are not free. You were born free. Did you did you forget that? Did you did you forget who you are? Remember who you are. You know, this even goes to my Bible thumpers. Like if you put so much trust and faith into the Lord, then you have to know that you were made in that being's essence. In its image. So doesn't that mean that you're just as royal as the God that you believe in? You get what I'm saying? So just remember how royal you are. Because I already know it's my birthright to live abundant. And since I know it, I feel it, I believe it, I smell it, I touch it, I visualize it. Every day, it manifests. It manifests in different 
scenarios, you guys. So I'm only speaking from experience when I say before you acquire generational wealth, you got to get your mind right because money is a language. It's a whole different language, you guys. The more and more I learn, the more and more I expand my mind, the more and more I take different classes, the more and more I teach the community on uh, financial uh, economics and financial literacy, the more and more I'm starting to see that money is a language, right? It's energy. And if you can't speak the frequency of high vibrational energy, then of course you're not going to be able to speak the frequency of money. Because there's 95% of the money in this world is being owned and circulated from only 5% of people in this world. So you're trying to tell me, yes, 95% of the money in this world is owned by 5% of the people in this world. That means the other 95% of us is working hard to build somebody else's dream, right? That's what that means. And so that's because we're not putting in the right systems to start acquiring generational wealth and it's starting with the mindset. So look, you got the mindset down together and, and trust me, it's, it's a growing process. All day long, every day, I'm constantly feeding, feeding my mind with the right nutrients and information so that I can grow. So, you know, you're always going to be a student, but you definitely have to start somewhere with getting your mind together. So once you have got your mind together, you have initiated the first step to generate generational wealth because the power starts with you, right? Next, what you want to do is you want to learn a skill, Right. You want to learn something. If you think about it, back in the olden days, the family would have a skill and they would leave that business or that skill down to their heirs so that their heirs can take, you know, ownership of that business or that so that their heirs will know that skill and so they can pass it down. See, what we got to do is we got to rewrite her story. We have to rewrite her story. We have to rewrite our story. So instead of our generation being on that hamster wheel of working nine to five, building somebody else's generation up, building somebody else's businesses up, we have to switch lanes and we have to switch the way we think and we have to start learning a skill set. What are you good at? What do you like to do? We all have something we're good at. We all have something we're good at. I meet a lot of people and they say, well, I want to help people, and I want to heal people, and I want to heal the world. And then I ask them, well, are you healed yourself? And what services are you going to offer? You want to heal people and heal the world, but what are you going to do? How? How are you going to do it? So you got to get clear and figure out what you want to do, how you want to do it, right? And if you're still not sure on a skill set, hit me up. Because what I'm doing is I'm already... um. I'm already um, learning this skill set of Forex, right? And so what, I ha what I'm learning from Forex, I'm able to pass down to my family, my brother, my mom, my kids, my brother-in-law, my uncle, my grandma. I can teach them this right Right. So that they're able to pull out their cell phone and they're able to grow their money without working like you guys. There's grandmas, old grandmas working at uh, Walmart, being Walmart greeters. You guys, old grandmas being Walmart greeters. Do you want to be that old grandma or do you want your grandma to be working at you know, Walmart as a greeter because her 401k and her pension plan wasn't enough money. Because you don't get much money from a pension plan and a 401k, you guys. I mean, you're gonna, you know, um, you're not gonna wind up with that much money, especially when it's getting taxed, right? So we got to know better to do better. And in this day and age, we live off technology. Technology is thriving. 
You can order stuff with a click of a button now, right? So that's why learning Forex is so lucrative because you have the opportunity to make money from your cell phone because technology has advanced so much. And the only thing that you're doing is you're learning a skill, you guys. Just like when you went to school, you had to learn the subjects, right? You had to learn the subjects in school so that you can pass and get a good grade. Well, the thing about Forex is you're learning the skill not not to get a good grade, but to be able to bring in daily income, to be able to supplement the income that you have now. You guys, it's all about building a business now, not per se working on somebody else's dream. Like you're working on somebody else's dream when you're not working on your dream. And I get it. Some of us do have to work. So what I always tell people is while you're working, Somebody want to be brought on camera? Oh, okay, my bad. While you're working, build your business on your job. Did y'all hear that? While you're working for somebody else, do what you got to do. But build your business on their dime. Build your business while you're working for somebody else. Right? If you are working in a car dealership, let people know about your business as you let them know about cars. Right? We're always talking to people, you guys. In this day and age, it's about word of mouth. It's about networking. It's about networking. It's about connecting with your network. Your network is your net worth. Right? I meet a lot of people, they like, yeah, I don't like to talk to people. I don't really want to talk to a lot of people to build the business. Guys, let me tell you, right? You guys know Avon. If you know Avon, and I know I'm kind of getting off topic, but I'm going I'm to I'm 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 wrap it back in, right? So if you know Avon, just, just comment Avon in the comment bar. If you guys know about the big, you know, networking company called Avon, you know, you have doTERRA as well, right? Okay, cool, right? So you guys know these people, right? So yearly... You know, a year, these companies are bringing in, you know, 15, you know, million, um, I'm sorry, 15, uh, look at my notes, 15 um, a billion a year, right? I'm sorry, I can't read my own writing. Million a year, I did this research yesterday, uh, million a year, right? And so then if you combine the NFL... You know, everybody likes the NFL, the NBA, and the MLB, the baseball people. If you combine those three or four leagues together, their annual yearly amount is 14, um, 14 a year, 14000 a year. But it takes four of them to equal the same amount of pay that people who own the doTERRA company or people who own the Avon company, they're making way more than that yearly. You guys, word of mouth is the most powerful resource. We always run in our mouth. So when people be like, well, I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to have to tell anybody anything. I'm like, bruh. You do it every day anyway. Like, you do it anyway. So why not build up your own business, right? So that you can start acquiring generational wealth. So I'm not going to make this video long because I actually got a meeting coming up here in 10 minutes. I just had my alarm go off. But I wanted to do that on a replay. But I mean, a, a recap of what I said because I know I was kind of just rambling along. But, A, the first tip to... Having a successful, you know, generational wealth is getting your mindset together first. So building the generational wealth off your mindset first. You know, you got to deprogram the fear and the lack. The because when, when when you're living in fear and when you're scared and when you're thinking something is always scammy, it's because you're still living in a slave mentality. Seriously. Because you can't be operating in your God self. You can't be operating in God mode and doubting yourself. You can't be operating in God mode talking about things or scams. Because if you're a real God, you'll know that your intuition is going to let you know what's right or wrong. Right? So in, in order to inquire generational wealth, we got to get our mindset right so that it echoes out to 
our generation so it echoes out to your children so that your children's children are able to you know spread this positive vibes down the ancestral line the next thing that you want to do before you start acquiring generational wealth is that you want to get your goals together why do you want this generational wealth what do you want to do with the money you know where do you want it to go how do you want to acquire it do you want low risk or do you want high risk what these are certain things you need to ask yourself the next thing in a successful tip is learning a skill set learning a skill set if you don't know a skill set or anything that you can do hit me up if you want to do forex hit me up if you don't want to do forex still hit me up because i got the remedy for everything <laughs> so um so that's the third one and so the fourth one would be a big key to generational wealth is to start putting money to the side and putting it into investment vehicles, you guys. Investment vehicles secure your future, right? They secure your future. So in this day and age, we got to start making our money make money for us. I don't care how good your job is. You staying at home and you working and you making a, a good enough money. That's cool. But we always got to expand ourselves, right? We always got to expand ourselves. So, um, you know, I can go on for days about this. You know, I'm very, very passionate about, um, you know, sharing my experience, sharing my journey. Because, you know, I, I came from, a, I came from a, a place in time where my mind was filled of fear. You know, I was always hectic. I was always thinking something was a scam. I was always thinking that somebody was out to get me. I didn't believe that I deserved good, right? But that's what happens when you're operating in a slave mentality. That's what happens when your mindset is still in slavery. But the moment, like I said, you like the moment I change my mindset and the moment I start knowing who I am and my my willpower, my power is the moment that I started manifesting only good opportunities to me. So that means I didn't have to think. I didn't have to ponder. I didn't have to wonder if something's a scam. I didn't have to do all this extra stuff uh, or, or double guess and stuff that people have to do because they're not in alignment with their God self and their freedom. They're still in alignment with slavery. So free your own shackles, right? Break your own shackles because the only person that has yourself in shackles is you because you got to get out of your own way to your success. Nobody outside of you is accountable for what's going on with you in your life right now. Only you. You know, you want to change. You want a financial difference. Start saying it. I talk to a lot of people. I ask them, you know, well, when are you going to start? I get a lot of people say soon, 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 soon. One day, soon, soon. What is soon? Right? What is what is soon? What does soon mean? When you tell the universe, I'm going to stop smoking soon. I'm going to start saving money soon. I'm going to start saving in gold soon. I'm going to join Forex soon. Soon, 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 soon. <laughs> soon. What is that? What is that? The universe is like, what, what is that? What is that, Ty Waters? What is that, Nita? What is that, Ray? What is soon? The universe don't know soon. You got to speak what you want in your reality. You got to give it definition. If you're going to start doing whatever you're going to do, put a date on it. Put a time on it. Let the universe know it's your genie. Right? Tell the universe that today, not soon, not when you get your income checks, not when you get the money, but tell the universe today you're going to start acquiring generational wealth. Because the moment you do that, the money, the mindset, the people, all of that is going to come into alignment. Don't ask how. Trust and believe. 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 Let go. Let God. Remember who you are. 
Awake, awake, awake from the sleepy, sleepy slumbers. The sleepy, sleepy slumbers, right? I'm just here bringing the light to the dark. I'm just here to resurrect the dead to the light, all right? So this has been your girl, Isis Love. It's always, always, always a pleasure to speaking with you guys. No coincidence that you have tuned in to my live podcast today, my live broadcast. Uh, so take heed in my message. Um, and I'll see you guys at the beach and the bank, baby.